Parma, Italian pronunciation, Parma, listen, Emilian, Parma, is a city in the northern Italian region of Emilia-Romagna famous for its architecture, music, art, prosciutto, ham, cheese and surrounding countryside. It is home to the University of Parma, one of the oldest universities in the world. Parma is divided into two parts by the stream of the same name. The district on the far side of the river is ultratorrent. Parma's Etruscan name was adapted by Romans to describe the round shield called Parma. The Italian poet Attilio Bertolucci, born in a hamlet in the countryside, wrote, As a capital city it had to have a river. As a little capital it received a stream, which is often dry. History Prehistory Parma was already a built-up area in the Bronze Age. In the current position of the city rose a terramare. The terramare marl earth were ancient villages built of wood on piles according to a defined scheme and squared form, constructed on dry land and generally in proximity to the rivers. During this age between 1500 BC and 800 BC, the first necropolis on the sites of the present-day Piazza Duomo and Piazzale della Macchina were constructed. Antiquity The city was most probably founded and named by the Etruscans, for a parma circular shield was a Latin borrowing, as were many Roman terms for particular arms, and parmiel, parmni and parmiel are names that appear in Etruscan inscriptions. Diodorus Siculus reported that the Romans had changed their rectangular shields for round ones, imitating the Etruscans. Whether the Etruscan encampment was so named because it was round, like a shield, or whether its situation was a shield against the Gauls to the north, is uncertain. The Roman colony was founded in 183 BC, together with Mutina, Modena, 2,000 families were settled. Parma had a certain importance as a road hub over the Via Emilia and the Via Claudia. It had a forum, in what is today the central Garibaldi Square. In 44 BC, the city was destroyed, and Augustus rebuilt it. During the Roman Empire, it gained the title of Julia for its loyalty to the imperial house. The city was subsequently sacked by Attila, and later given by the Germanic king Odoacer to his followers. During the Gothic War, however, Totila destroyed it. It was then part of the Byzantine Exarchate of Ravenna, changing its name to Chrysopolis. Golden City probably due to the presence of the imperial treasury, and, from 569, of the Lombard Kingdom of Italy. During the Middle Ages, Parma became an important stage of the Via Francigena, the main road connecting Rome to northern Europe. Several castles, hospitals and inns were built in the following centuries to host the increasing number of pilgrims who passed by Parma and Fidenza, following the Apennines via Colecchio, Bersetto and the Corchia ranges before descending the Paso della Cisa into Tuscany, heading finally south toward Rome. Middle Ages under Frankish rule, Parma became the capital of a county, 774. Like most northern Italian cities, it was nominally a part of the Holy Roman Empire created by Charlemagne, but locally ruled by its bishops, the first being Guibotus. In the subsequent struggles between the papacy and the empire, Parma was usually a member of the imperial party. Two of its bishops became antipopes, Cadallo, founder of the cathedral, as Honorius II, and Guibert, as Clement III. An almost independent commune was created around 1140. A treaty between Parma and Piacenza of 1149 is the earliest document of a commune headed by consuls. After the Peace of Constance 1183 confirmed the Italian commune's rights of self-governance, long-standing quarrels with the neighboring communes of Reggio Emilia, Piacenza and Cremona became harsher, with the aim of controlling the vital trading line over the Po River. The struggle between Guelphs and Ghibellines was a feature of Parma too. In 1213, her podesta was the Guelph Rambertino Buvalelli. Then, after a long stance alongside the emperors, the papist families of the city gained control in 1248. The city was besieged in 1247-48 by Emperor Frederick II, who was however crushed in the battle that ensued. Modern Era Parma fell under the control of Milan in 1341. 
After a short-lived period of independence under the Terzi family 1404-1409, the Sforza imposed their rule 1440-1449 through their associated families of Pallavicino, Rossi, Sanditali and Da Correggio. These created a kind of new feudalism, building towers and castles throughout the city and the land. These fiefs evolved into truly independent states, the Landi governed the higher Taro. S. Valley from 1257 to 1682. The Pallavicino Signori extended over the eastern part of today's province, with the capital in Busseto. Parma's territories were an exception for northern Italy, as its feudal subdivision frequently continued until more recent years. For example, Solignano was a Pallavicino family possession until 1805, and San Seconda belonged to the Rossi well into the 19th century. Between the 14th and the 15th centuries, Parma was at the center of the Italian wars. The Battle of Fornovo was fought in its territory. The French held the city in 1500-1521, with a short papal parenthesis in 1512-1515. After the foreigners were expelled, Parma belonged to the Papal States until 1545. In that year the Farnese Pope, Paul III, detached Parma and Piacenza from the Papal States and gave them as a duchy to his illegitimate son, Pier Luigi Farnese, whose descendants ruled in Parma until 1731, when Antonio Farnese, last male of the Farnese line, died. In 1594 a constitution was promulgated, the university enhanced and the nobles' college founded. The war to reduce the barons. Power continued for several years. In 1612, Barbara San Severino was executed in the central square of Parma, together with six other nobles charged of plotting against the Duke. At the end of the 17th century, after the defeat of Pallavicini 1588 and Landi 1682, the Farnese Duke could finally hold with firm hand all Parma's territories. The castle of the San Severino in Colorno was turned into a luxurious summer palace by Ferdinando Bibiena. In the Treaty of London, 1718, it was promulgated that the heir to the combined duchy of Parma and Piacenza would be Elizabeth Farnese's elder son with Philip V of Spain, Don Carlos. In 1731, the 15-year-old Don Carlos became Charles I Duke of Parma and Piacenza, at the death of his childless great-uncle Antonio Farnese. In 1734, Charles I conquered the kingdoms of Naples and Sicily, and was crowned as the King of Naples and Sicily on 3 July 1735, leaving the Duchy of Parma to his brother Philip Filippo I di Borbone Parma. All the outstanding art collections of the Duke's palaces of Parma, Colorno and Sala Baganza were moved to Naples. Parma was under French influence after the Peace of Aachen, 1748. Parma became a modern state with the energetic action of Prime Minister Guillaume du Tilut. He created the basis for a modern industry and fought strenuously against the church's privileges. The city lived a period of particular splendor, the Biblioteca Palatina, Palatine Library, the Archaeological Museum, the Picture Gallery and the Botanical Garden were founded, together with the royal printing works directed by Giambattista Bodoni, aided by the Amoretti brothers as skilled and inspired punchcutters. Contemporary age during the Napoleonic Wars 1802-1814, Parma was annexed to France and made capital of the Taro department. Under its French name Parme, it was also created a Duché Grand Fief de l'Empire for Charles-François Lebrun, Duc de Plaisance, the Emperor's arch-treasurer, on 24 April 1808, extinguished 1926. After the restoration of the Duchy of Parma by the 1814-15 Vienna Congress, the Risorgimento's upheavals had no fertile ground in the tranquil duchy. In 1847, after Marie-Louise, Duchess of Parma's death, it passed again to the House of Bourbon, the last of whom was stabbed in the city and left it to his widow, Luisa Maria of Berry. On 15 September 1859 the dynasty was declared deposed, and Parma entered the newly formed province of Emilia under Luigi Carlo Farini. With the plebiscite of 1860 the former duchy became part of the unified Kingdom of Italy. The loss of the capital role provoked an economic and social crisis in Parma. 
It started to recover its role of industrial prominence after the railway connection with Piacenza and Bologna of 1859, and with Fornovo and Cesara in 1883. Trade unions were strong in the city, in which a famous general strike was declared from 1 May to 6 June 1908. The struggle with fascism had its most dramatic moment in the August 1922, when the regime officer Italo Balbo attempted to enter the popular quarter of Ultratorrent. The citizens organized into the Arditi del Popolo, people's champions, and pushed back the squadristi. This episode is considered the first example of resistance in Italy. During World War II, Parma was a strong center of partisan resistance. The train station and marshalling yards were targets for high-altitude bombing by the Allies in the spring of 1944. Much of the Palazzo della Palata, situated not far half a mile from the train station, was destroyed. Along with it also Teatro Farnese and part of Biblioteca Palatina were destroyed by Allied bombs. Several other monuments were also damaged, Palazzo del Giardino, Steccata and San Giovanni Churches, Palazzo Ducale, Paganini Theater and the Monument to Verdi. However Parma did not see widespread destruction during the war. Parma was liberated from the German occupation 1943 to 1945 on 26 April 1945 by the Partisan Resistance and the Brazilian Expeditionary Force. Geography Climate In Parma, the average annual high temperature is 17 degrees Celsius 63 degrees Fahrenheit, the annual low temperature is 9 degrees Celsius 48 degrees Fahrenheit, and the annual precipitation is 777 mm 30.59 inches. The following data comes from the weather station located at the university in the city center. It is affected by the urban heat island phenomenon. Parma has a four-season humid subtropical climate with heavy continental influences due to the city's inland position. Relatively nearby coastal areas like Genoa have far milder climates with cooler summers and milder winters, with the mountains separating Parma from the Mediterranean acting as a barrier to the sea air. Main sites Churches Parma Cathedral, Romanesque church houses a 12th-century sculpture by Benedetto Antolami and a 16th-century fresco masterpiece by Antonio da Correggio. Baptistry, construction began in 1196 by Antolami, stands adjacent to the cathedral. San Giovanni Evangelista, Abbey Church originally constructed in the 10th century behind the cathedral's apse, rebuilt in 1498 and 1510. It has a late Mannerist facade and a bell tower designed by Simone Machinos. The cupola is frescoed with an influential masterpiece of the Renaissance, The Vision of St. John the Evangelist 1520 by Correggio which heralded illusionistic perspective ceilings. Cloisters and library are also notable. Sanctuary of Santa Maria della Steccata San Paolo, Parma, 11th century, former Benedictine convent houses Correggio's frescoes in the Camera di San Paolo, 1519-1520, and works by Alessandro Araldi. San Francesco del Prado, 13th century, Gothic church served as jail from Napoleonic era until 1990s, during which the 16 windows in the facade were opened. The oratory of the Concezioni houses frescoes by Michelangelo Anselmi and Francesco Rondani. Santa Croce, 12th century church in Romanesque style, had a nave and two aisles with a semicircular apse. Rebuilt in 1415 and again in 1635 to 1666. The frescoes in the nave by Giovanni Maria Conti, Francesco Reddi, and Antonio Lombardi date to this period. San Sepulcro, church built in 1275 over a pre-existing religious edifice, interiors largely renovated in 1506, 1603 and finally 1701. The Baroque bell tower was built in 1616, bells completed in 1753. Adjacent is a former monastery 1493 of the regular canons of the Lateran. 
Santa Maria del Cordier (1604–1619) church characterized by an odd hexagonal plan. Cupola is decorated with frescoes by Pier Antonio Bernabai and pupils. San Rocco, late Baroque-style church rebuilt in 1754 and dedicated to one of Parma's patron saints. Palaces. Palazzo della Palata, 1583. It houses the Academy of Fine Arts with artists of the School of Parma, the Palatine Library, the National Gallery, the Archaeological Museum, the Bodoni Museum, and the Farnese Theatre. Palazzo del Giardino, built from 1561 for Duke Ottavio Farnese on a design by Jacopo Barosi da Vignola. Built on the former Sforza Castle area, it was enlarged in the 17th 18th centuries. It includes the Palazzo Eucario Sanditali, with interesting decorations dating from the 16th centuries and attributed to John Francesco da Great, and a fresco by Parmigianino. Annexed is the Ducal Park also by Vignola. It was turned into a French-style garden in 1749. Palazzo del Comune, built in 1627. Palazzo del Governator. Governor's Palace. Dating from the 13th century. Bishop's Palace, 1055. Ospedale Vecchio. Old Hospital. Created in 1250 and later renovated in Renaissance times. Other sites of interest. The Teatro Farnese was constructed in 1618-1619 by Giovanni Battista Eliati, totally in wood. It was commissioned by Duke Renuccio I for the visit of Cosimo I de Medici. The Cittadella, a large fortress erected in the 16th century by order of Duke Alessandro Farnese, close to the old walls. The Pons Lapidus, also known as Roman Bridge or Theodric's Bridge, a Roman structure in stone dating from the reign of Augustus. The Orto Botanico di Parma is a botanical garden maintained by the University of Parma. The Teatro Reggio. Royal Theatre. Built in 1821 to 1829 by Nicola Batoli. It has a neoclassical facade and a porch with double window order. It is the city's opera house. The Auditorium Niccolo Paganini, designed by Renzo Piano. The Museum House of Arturo Toscanini, where the famous musician was born. Museo Lombardi. It exhibits a prestigious collection of art and historical items regarding Maria Luigia of Habsburg and her first husband Napoleon Bonaparte, important works and documents concerning the Duchy of Parma in the 18th and 19th centuries are also kept by the museum. Demographics on 1 January 2016 there were 192,836 resident citizens in Parma, of whom 47.64% were male and 52.36% were female. Minors, children aged 18 and younger, totaled 16.46% of the population compared to pensioners who numbered 22.64%. This compares with the Italian average of 17.45% and 22.04% respectively. In the 14 years between 2002 and 2016, the population of Parma experienced 17.72% growth, while Italy as a whole grew by 6.45%. In the same period foreign-born residents in Parma experienced plus 385.02% growth, while in Italy growth was of plus 274.75%. The current birth rate of Parma is 8.62 births per 1,000 inhabitants compared to the Italian average of 8.01 births. As of 1 January 2016, 84.09% of the population was Italian. The largest foreign group came from other parts of Europe, namely Moldova, Romania, Albania, and Ukraine, 6.45%, followed by Sub-Saharan Africa, namely Ghana, Nigeria and Ivory Coast, 1.81%, North Africa, namely Morocco and Tunisia, 1.46%, and the Philippines, 1.33. Culture Food and cuisine 
Parma is famous for its food and rich gastronomical tradition. Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, also produced in Reggio Emilia, prosciutto di Parma, Parma ham. Parma also claims several stuffed pasta dishes like tortelli d'arveta and anellini in brodo. In 2004, Parma was appointed the seat of the European Food Safety Authority (EFSA). Parma also has two food multinationals, Barilla and Parmalat and a food tourism sector represented by Parma Golosa and Food Valley. Frazioni The commune municipality of Parma is subdivided into a number of frazioni. Alberi, Baganzola, Bodonia, Beneceto, Borgo Val di Taro, Bodaguino, Catterzi, Calistano, Carignano, Carpinetto, Cartiera, Casalberoncolo, Casalora di Ravides, Casaltone, Case Capelli, Case Coconi, Case Crostolo, Case Nuo, Case Ross, Case Vecchi, Casino Dalla Rosa, Casagnola, Case Diletto, Castelnovo, Cervara, Chiazzola, Coloretto, Corcognano, Ea, Fontanini, Fontanellato, Gaioni, Ghiagliata Nuova, Il Moro, La Catina, La Palazzina, Melandriano, Marano, Maror, Martorano, Molino di Melandriano, Osteria San Martino, Pinocchia, Paradina, Pedrignano, Palastrello, Pizzolis, Ponte, Porporeno, Poseto Piccolo, Quircioli, Ravides, Ronco Pascolo, Rosa, San Pancrazio, San Prospero, San Rufino, San Seconda, Sissa, Sorogna, Tizzano Val Parma, Valera, Birolo, Biazza, Vicofertile, Vicamero, Vigado, Viefio, Vigolante. People Painters and sculptors Michelangelo Anselmi, painter born in Tuscany Benedetto Antolami, architect and sculptor Alessandro Araldi, painter Sisto Badalocchio, painter Giacopo Bertoglia, also known as Giacomo Zanguidi or Giacopo Zanguidi or Bertoglia, painter Amadeo Bocchi, painter Giovanni Federico Bonzogni, medalist Giulio Carmignani, painter Oreste Carpi, painter Antonio da Correggio, Antonio Allegri, born in Correggio, Reggio Emilia, painter Francesco Marmita, painter Filippo Mazzola, painter Francesco Mazzola, best known as Il Parmigianino, painter Girolamo Mazzola Bedoli, painter Giovanni Maria Francesco Rondani, painter Bartolomeo Shedoni, painter Others Vittorio Adorni, cyclist Amoretti brothers, typographers and typefounders, Bodoni's opponents Attilio Bertolucci, poet Bernardo Bertolucci, director Giuseppe Bertolucci, director Giambattista Bodoni, typographer Vittorio Bottego, explorer Cleofonti Campanini, conductor Francesco Cura, actor, singer, model Alex Di Gregorio, cartoonist Elizabeth Farnese, Queen of Spain Odordo Farnese Alexander Farnese, Duke of Parma, military commander Vittorio Galles, physiologist Fiorello Giro, opera singer Giovannino Guareschi, writer Adriano Malori, cyclist Franco Nero, actor Ferdinando Paer, composer Niccolo Paganini, composer, musician, buried in Parma Alex Shilasi, pianist Arturo Toscanini, conductor Giuseppe Verdi, opera composer Arnaldo Ferlotti. Musician and musical composer. Sport 
Parma Calcio 1913, founded in 2015, is a Serie A first division football club. It replaced Parma FC, which went bankrupt in 2015. It plays in the city's Stadio Ennio Tardini, which opened in 1923 and seats up to 23,000. Parma's other sport team is the rugby union club Zebra which competes in Pro 14, one of the top rugby competitions in the world. Parma also is home to two rugby union teams in the top national division, Overmic Rugby Parma and SKG Gran Rugby. Parma Panthers is the Parma American football team which provided the basis for John Grisham's book Playing for Pizza. Stadio Sergio Lanfranchi is the ground of rugby and American football teams. Palavolo Parma and Parma Baseball are also popular teams in the city. Economy and infrastructure Transport Parma Railway Station is on the Milan Bologna Railway. The Parma trolleybus system has been in operation since 1953. It replaced an earlier tramway network, and presently comprises four trolleybus routes. Aeroporto Internazionale di Parma, Parma's airport, offers commercial flights to cities in a number of European countries. International relations Parma is twinned with Shijiazhuang, China Ljubljana, Slovenia Tours, France Worms, Germany Seged, Hungary Borg and Bress, France Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada See also European College of Parma University of Parma References Bibliography External links Live streaming webcam on Garibaldi Square Parma's view from satellite, Google Earth 360 degrees photos of city of Parma Video introduction to Parma and the Parmigiano Reggiano Video brief history of Parma The European Food Safety Authority website Photo gallery by Leonardo Bellotti, in Italian Parma on the Campanile project